talking today in our series about how to ask for support, why it's harder with ADHD. Today, we're tackling the self-sufficiency myth, starting with the idea of, I should be able to do it on my own. Is that true? Absolutely. No. Um, people have tons of shame around this, and it can be crippling to the point where some people are uncoachable as a result of it. When you are still able to interface with it, but you can feel it there, um, it, this idea is not going to change anything, right? If you already could do the thing, you would be. If, if, if you're asking this question, if you're making this statement, I should be, it, it's, it's going to be garbage in, garbage out until you change something. You have to figure out what what is going to convince your brain otherwise before anything can shift N like no strategy it's, is going to convince you if, if this is just playing in your head all the time i don't want to go all biologist here but um we did not evolve individually we evolved as collective groups like as a society that's part of why we can have neurodiversity and different people bring different things and we're better than the sum of our parts uh, collectively um it's not because we should all be doing everything on our own. That's that's just not that's not in our DNA. Um, it's an interesting idea, but it's it's just not based in any kind of fact. Um, also, uh, it, it's it's weird because like the people we praise in our society are not like really big time. Are not always those people. CEOs do not do everything on their own. It turns out they delegate a lot of stuff. That's how they get stuff done. Yeah. Um, like we we don't get any bonus points in life for doing things the hard way just yep. because we should. Um, and and what matters is living the life we want, not how the things get done. Done yep. is so much more important than on my own. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also to be real for a second it's not realistic in many cases no a lot of times i hear this with folks with adhd when we're talking about um, a strategy to get places on time because the current infrastructure is not doing it and and so somebody who says like no i really want to be able to do the thing on my own or we talk about like working on something with a friend but i want to be able to do it on my own okay but it's not happening right now so could we use this at least for now and there are other ways to get structure and things like that but like living life the way we want it to be should be the most important thing not yeah. not that, that how not that like feeling of it's on my own without meds or without whatever and it's like I'm not saying you have to try meds I'm just saying like that that on my own should not be more important than like life looking the way you want it to look yes and from a certain perspective, at least from my perspective, if you're talking about, I should do it on my own, I should do it without these neurodiverse supports, then technically it seems like someone might be saying, I'm being graded on how much like a neurotypical person I'm behaving, which, oh boy, there might be some therapy needed there. But like, if it's just sort of an impulse that you need to let like, overcome, then hey, coachable all the way. But yeah, you do not get a grade, at least Brittany and I don't care about your grade in passing as neurotypical. We don't. No, we want you to do the things that work for your brain, whatever those are to be living the life the way you want to be living it. Yeah. Um. Uh, so, uh, talk to me a little bit about this idea of self-sufficiency in our culture, Colleen. Well, I was actually thinking about tigers, right? Because tigers live, you know, alone. They're not pack animals. They just go off and they do the tiger thing and they come and they mate and that's it. But, um, but humans are also apex predators, but we do so in, in a pack sense. Right. We are where I also heard us. Apparently humans are uh, what they, uh, persistence predators, but that's that's a tangent. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we we don't. The hermitage ness is rare in our society. Hence, we have like an actual word for it. We don't really necessarily have a word for person who lives in a group with other people because it's all of us. We all need the rest of us to to do this thing <laughs> called life. So 
Yeah, especially in modern times. Like, there were people back in the day who could, like, hunt and, and, and you know, make their own weapons and do the thing. It's so hard now. Like, if you're actually going to live with fax machines and email and, and modern, like, running water and stuff, you're not. You are so interdependent on everybody else and all of the different systems that are that you're interfacing with all the time so coming back to this idea of self-sufficiency we do live in a culture that praises it that that idea even though the people whose accomplishments we praise the most are not usually doing things entirely on their own it's yeah. a weird dichotomy that we have this idea yeah. of i'm gonna do it all by myself uh that's not not backed by our biology um it's not backed by but it's also not backed by the people we praise the most yeah um, like 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 leaders like you mm -hmm. know leaders are sometimes controversial but people who do like them it's like that that world leader or whatever is making decisions but not alone and they are passing laws but not alone they didn't write the laws right like all of these different moving pieces are they go through that person or like you know um actors are typically way more famous than even directors or heaven help us like audio people or editors like it's it like uh um uh, uh artur theory is 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 the the self-sufficiency myth like th this piece this, this film is uh, completely by this one person no never is that the case and often when one person took way much way too much creative control and nobody said no to them it does not lead to a good product there are rare exceptions but mostly it leads to things that make my skin crawl we'll leave it there we will not mention specifics on that <laughs> but yes there are many examples therein right <laughs> and i mean in the long run like does the thing get done not did i get it done all by myself and yes. that that's the thing that we should have pride in, in, in those smaller milestones. I mean, a not insignificant part of our ADHD Guild uh, Brags channel is people posting about times they've asked for help because yes. it is hard, because we do need, we need to praise the steps along the way that help the thing really get done. Yep. Yep. All right. I think, I think we've tackled the self-sufficiency myth. Absolutely. For so. asking for help. Next time we're going to talk about asking for help is scary. It is. See you guys next time.